Beware of these summer scams. These scams are this year's blockbusters. Learning what scammers are doing, and talking about the issue of scams with friends and family, can help everyone to better protect themselves and their finances. Just because it's summer, doesn't mean scammers are on vacation. It's quite the opposite, scammers love to chase after victims in the summer. So we all must be alert. Here are six scams to watch out for this summer. Scam number one, the timeshare purchase or resale scam. A timeshare means that you pay money up front to use a vacation property for a certain amount of time each year. Sadly, many timeshare sales presentations are designed to confuse or pressure attendees into paying for a property that's worth far less than the price tag. Most resort destinations have a timeshare sales division. So get ready for the timeshare presentation offer. Nowadays, savvy travelers usually choose a rental property instead, as these are more flexible, cheaper and often nicer than a timeshare. On the other hand, if you've already purchased a timeshare and you're looking to sell it, watch out for timeshare resale scams that require you to pay them money first. One note about timeshare purchases. If you do find yourself buying a timeshare on vacation, and then get buyer's remorse, many states and countries have specific laws about rescinding these contracts within a certain amount of days. It's called a cooling off period, basically allowing you to terminate the purchase. Scam number two, the student loan forgiveness scam. With the topic of student loan forgiveness hitting headlines this summer, scammers are taking the opportunity to prey on potential victims. If someone calls you claiming to be a student loan officer, don't engage in the conversation, and definitely don't share any sensitive information, including your social security number, driver's license number or bank account details. Instead, hang up and call your loan servicer directly, using the phone number from your billing statement, to learn if there are any legitimate loan forgiveness options available. Scam number three, the phony job scam. From teenagers to teachers, many people find themselves searching for additional employment over the summer months. Look out for phony job scams, in which a recruiter asks you to pay them money or hand over sensitive financial information before they'll connect you with a too good to miss employment opportunity. Even if you're replying to what looks like a legitimate ad on a reputable job site, it could be a scam. This saying is an old cliche, but still true, if an opportunity looks too good to be true, it probably is. For example, job offers that let you set your own hours, work from home and make thousands of dollars per month. Scam number four, the Amazon imposter scam. If you're kicking off the summer months with a new bathing suit, sports gear or kiddie pool, you might head to Amazon to make your purchase, and scammers know this. Amazon is one of the most commonly impersonated businesses, which means that if you receive an email or phone communication claiming to be the online retailer, it's a smart idea to think twice before responding. Don't click on any links that pop up in your inbox, as they may contain malware. Instead, log into your official Amazon account and contact customer service from there. Scam number 5. The Airbnb Scam. Planning a trip out of town this summer. Airbnb can be a great resource for upping your accommodation options, but there are a few scams to watch out for. Firstly, avoid communicating with potential hosts on external channels, and don't make any payments unless they are via the official booking site. It's also a good idea to learn more about bait and switch scams, which have popped up in the past few years. In a bait and switch scam, the property owner changes the booking at the last minute, leaving travelers with subpar accommodation or even stranded. Always opt for properties with plenty of positive reviews, or choose a traditional hotel if you're uncertain. Scam number 6. The Ticketed Event Scam. Summer is the season for concerts, festivals and all kinds of outdoor events, which means more opportunities for fraudsters to engage in ticket scams. It's best practice to only purchase your event tickets from a reputable seller or the event venue, because scalping sites may enforce hidden fees, or in the worst case scenario, they may take your money without delivering your tickets. Interacting with individual scalpers is also risky. As always, don't give out your credit card information or make any kind of payment to an individual via a non-official ticket sales channel. These are just a handful of the scams that scammers are inflicting on victims during the summer. If any scam opportunity presents itself, a scammer will jump on it. Stay alert and don't be fooled. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe to Scam TV. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much.